Hey guys, so I was looking through my old videos and I found this gem and my feelings have kind of changed a little bit. So I'm just going to update you on my feelings about relationships. <laughs> it is really not necessary for you to watch that video to understand this video, but if you want to, I will put a card there. When I was in college, I was obsessed with relationships. I was very adamant about wanting a relationship and I felt that if I didn't have a relationship then I was somehow less than which I know a lot of people go through that. It is very hard in our romance driven society to feel complete when you're single and it took me a long time to get to this point and I'm pretty okay right now. Sure, it is still very annoying and disheartening when everybody around you seems to be in a relationship. And honestly, it is far worse in your 20s, younger Katie, because not only are people in relationships, but they are fucking married. They are in this for life. And they have children and own homes. But honestly, now it is less of a I want a relationship and more of a I want that stability, if that makes sense. Like, I know that I don't need a relationship, but I also know that I'm not going to be financially stable for a very long time and getting married would kind of help that. And I also want a child, which is very difficult when you are not financially stable. I want to be at a point in my life where I know that this is how my life is going to be for a good portion of my life. Right now I'm just sort of meh. I'm kind of floating and trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be socially and it's hard. I love my new job so that is good but I still can't afford to move out, and I sure as hell can't afford to adopt a child, so... And I know that's a really dumb reason to want a relationship, but obviously it's not the only one. Like, I want affection and love and intimacy, and I want to be somebody's favorite person, and I know that's a lot to ask, but damn it, I have standards now. College Katie was uh, holding out hope that her friend would stop being an asshole and, you know, actually commit to some sort of relationship with her because there was clearly a mutual attraction, but he just didn't want a relationship. And I still pined after him and it was ridiculous. When I had my first date, he was very bad at replying to my messages and so I said, fuck it. If you don't care about me enough to reply to my message, especially a time-sensitive one, then yeah, fuck you, go away. I don't need you in my life. But that's not to say that it's not disheartening. Like, I feel like I should matter. I feel like these people don't think I'm worthy of messaging back or something, and it hurts, but at the same time, like, I know that I deserve to be treated better. I just haven't found somebody who will treat me better and it's really fucking irritating and disappointing. But I'm more so disappointed in them. I know my own worth now and if they can't see it, that's on them. They're the problem. I'm not. And that is something that I have struggled with for a very long time. I've grown so much since college and it's weird because I don't feel like I have when I'm just living my life. But when I actually look back at my old videos, like it's obvious that my feelings on myself and on relationships have changed a lot and clearly for the better. So I'm gonna hold out. I am going to keep my standards high and just gonna hope for the best. I hope that all of you keep your standards high as well. Let me know below how your feelings on relationships have changed over the years, and please 
like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you would like to support me financially, I have a PayPal and a Patreon, both of which are linked below, and I will see you next time. Bye.